Are you planning to buy your dream house? Then I have some good locality advice. Like where should you consider buying your house and a list of some of the apartments in South Bangalore. As we all know, Namba Bangalore is divided into five different zones. South Bangalore is one among them. Many people prefer South Bangalore over any other part of Bangalore. Bangalore is called a garden city because of the greenery in the city. Nowadays, it's quite hard to find trees in other parts of Bangalore compared to South Bangalore, due to which the weather in South Bangalore is refreshing. Hi, my name is Balaji and I welcome you to my channel today. If you are new here, subscribe now and tap the bell icon so that I can notify you whenever I post a new video. By the way, Brick Experts is the newest initiative from our team to provide valuable information on projects developed by top developers in the city and I have put my thoughts on such projects like price notes, review, comparison and much more. So visit www.brickexperts.in and check it out. Now without further ado, let's begin with our show. According to many, South Bangalore is the old Bangalore and the majority of Connecticut live here and prefer South Bangalore. The majority of this part of Bangalore is occupied by the native and local people who still endorse their traditions and values. It is rich in its culture and has many temples of heritage. Despite all this, the area is a booming IT hub and commercial space. South Bangalore has a lot of heritage temples, parks and water bodies. Temples like Raghavendra Temple, Ragiguda Temple, Banashankari Amma Temple, Anjaniya Swami Temple, Bull Temple, Kadu Malleshwara, Dodda Ganesha Temple, Meenakshi Temple and a lot 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 many more temples are found in Namma South Bangalore. The Geological Survey of India and the Indian Space Research Organization, IMB, Bandargata National Park, Madiwala Lake, Sankey Tank are also nestled in this South Bangalore. Apart from these, the locality has a prominent facility for education as well as the recreational activities. South Bangalore has so many eye-catching points and areas. A weekend can be well spent if you live in South Bangalore. Lal Bagh Botanical Garden is one of the popular gardens in South Bangalore, which has beautifully landscaped gardens, widely spread trees, a glass house, and it is located in South Bangalore and has four gates. However, the West Gate has good access to the metro connectivity. Bandargata National Park is another hotspot of South Bangalore. It has a wide variety of flora and fauna. A small portion of the national park is converted into a zoological garden. The park offers a facility for safari and some amazing activities. People from different places visit the national park. So, aren't we lucky to live in South Bangalore? Okay, so do you love food? If yes, then South Bangalore has it all. The most popular Marvel Tiffin Rooms, Vidyarthi Bhavan, VV Puram Food Street, so many to name. These are located near Basanguri, which is one of the oldest areas of Bangalore. The aura of this locality is so refreshing that one cannot get enough of it. The flower market, the street side shops, the food joints feels like home. Basanguri is one area of Bangalore where most of them prefer just roaming around. Temples. How can I forget this? The mornings in South Bangalore is completely different. In almost every second street, one can hear the bells ringing and the chantings of the mantras. South Bangalore has so many residential areas. It is one of the most sought after places to settle down. Compared to other zones of Bangalore, South has well-planned layouts, wide roads, and of course, more greenery, shopping complexes, and well-established educational institutions. South Bangalore has excellent connectivity to almost all the other parts of the city. In few areas, the metro is operating at full pace, and it has made so many people's life easier. When we speak of South Bangalore, there are so many areas. I will list below some of the prominent areas of South Bangalore. Jayanagar, BDM Layout, Banashankari, JP Nagar, Bandargata Road, Vijayanagar, Basamanagudi, VV Puram, Girinagar, Pulimavu, Kumar Swami Layout, Arekere, Belakahalli, Kanakapura, Electronic City, Madiwala, Silk Boat, Konan Kunte, Uttarahalli, these are all some of the locations. In spite, uh, Jayanagar is the commercial focal point of South Bangalore. If I forget to mention the eateries in South Bangalore, then it's like not doing justice to the content. Most of the popular food joints are nestled in South Bangalore. All I can say is no one can deny the fact that South Bangalore has the best in everything compared to the other parts of Bangalore. South Bangalore is the hot spot for real estate and developers. Due to good infrastructure and civic amenities, many top developers of Bangalore have come up with excellent projects. If you are planning to buy a house in Bangalore, South Bangalore has numerous projects. 
I will name some of the top projects and residential enclaves in this locality which are quite established well like Prestige Southridge, SNN Ratspiritua, Prestige Song of the South, Prestige Falcon City, Prestige Park Square, SNN Raj Serenity, Shoba Dufler, Brigade Millennium, Swasa Homes, Peninsula Heights, Sriram Song of the South, Nagarjuna Premier, Brigade Gardenia, Tata Promont, Epitome, Centrio, Purvankara Highland, Mahavir Sitara, Suraksha Tranquil Gardens, Nandi Citadel, uh, Habitat Aura, Rohan Akriti, Peninsula Heights, Shoba Arena, Shoba Manhattan Town Park. And these are some of the apartments by top developers in South Bangalore, either it's uh, already established or coming up with. South Bangalore is the heart of the city. In spite of being commercial areas and well developed, it has very calm and well planned residential enclaves. JP Nagar, Jayanagar, BTM, Second Stage, Konan Kunte, Anjanapura, Vijayanagara, Padnam Nagar are some of the localities which has a maximum number of best residential areas. The whole of South Bangalore is just so amazing that once if you live in South Bangalore, then one doesn't feel like shifting to any other parts of the city. Guys, I have been living in South Bangalore for years now and still cannot get enough of the ambience, the mood, the climate and the high spirit of the locality. If you are shifting or planning to buy a house, then South Bangalore should be your first choice. I think these are enough to choose South Bangalore over any other zones of Bangalore. What else do you need? Let me know in the comment section below which part of Bangalore do you prefer settling down in. I will see you in my next video.